What's up guys, come back to my channel, Magic Unicorn. My name is Sanisha and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do glass painting. So before we get on with the video, I'll just tell you the materials we'll need to do this. First of all, we'll need um, a printout. So here I've taken this printout. And then we'll need some glass markers. Um, here I've taken some several Ohuhu um, markers and then we'll need brushes, palette, of course a glass, and finally some glass paint. So these are the only ingredients we'll need to make this glass painting. So now without further ado, let's get on with the video. As first I just kept aside all the other things except the glass, the printout and the pens. So first we'll start by taking the printout and then placing the glass carefully over the painting. So now if you want it to be vertical, you can keep it like that or else you can just keep it horizontally like this, but I chose it to be vertical. So you need to place it properly before you do that. And then you can take some tape and stick it if you want to. As here, I stuck three pieces of tape on each side. And now we'll take out our markers. So first I'll just need a black color, so I'll keep aside all the other colors and take only the black color. Then, you want to slowly start outlining it. Just like that. This is how it looks once I've outlined everything and actually I've also used this light blue color for the highlights of her hair and this brown color for her eyebrows. Guys, first we have to start with the highlights. So um, first I'll start with the um, hair highlight which is light blue. So what I'll do is take some of it into the palette. So I'll put in some. And I'll even take one of my brushes. I'll take a small one because for the highlights we'll need a small one. Then what we'll do is take the paint onto our brush and just paint it. And remember guys, um, the paint, always the highlights should be first if you're doing glass painting. It's not like normal painting. You should first always do the highlights, then we can move on to the skin. We have to do the skin at the last. So you want it to be as thick as possible because um, paints, you can just see through it if you don't do it thick. This is how it should look once you've done the first coat. And then you can just start doing the second and if you want you can even do a third coat if it is not thick enough. As this is how it should look once you've put some coats on. So now let's move on to the second detail, which is this black over here. So for that I'll use another small brush and black color paint. So <clears throat> I'll just open it, open this paint and I will put some in the palette. Start painting it. This is how it should look once you've um, coated it. 
And don't worry if it looks really messy at the back, but once you turn the um, glass around, it looks so good. So, now we're going to be moving on to the next step. Guys, this is how it should be looking once it's dried fully. Actually, I painted this yesterday and I left it overnight to dry. And this is the second day and as you can see, it's completely dry that I can even touch it. So now we'll be moving on to the next studio, which are the eyes. As for the eyes, I'm taking um, pink over here and some white to make the light color. So first I'll take um, the paint in the palette and I'll add very little of pink over here, just really little of pink. And then I will take white and add um, a lot of white, like not exactly a lot, but more than the pink. And then I will mix it. So as you can see that is purple and this is pink. But I don't want pink, I want purple. So what I'll do is take um, this light blue color, add very little of it. it in and see which color will come so as you can see it's turning out really cool and it's almost there so I'll add some uh, more pink You gotta make sure to mix it really good. So I got the color for the upper layer. So that's good. As here I've made two batters. One is this light color for here and dark color for the upper part. So now first what we want to do is to do the lighter part. So I took some light paint and just um, Paint it up. This is how it should be looking once you've applied some coats of these light pink. So now I'm actually going to be taking this darker purple and I'm just going to paint the upper part slowly. As this is how it should look once you've put some layers on the dark parts too. So now we're actually going to be moving on to the next part, which is the skin. Guys, I used yellow, um, red, very little red, and a lot of white to make this peach color. So, like, I tried many several times, but this is the color I really wanted for the dark parts. So, um, let's start painting it. First you can start by taking a little paint and then painting it at the edges. And then slowly, gradually, you can take more paint and do it. So these are only the highlights. But the actual um, white part of the skin, we'll be doing it at the last. Guys, this is how it should look once you've done a few coatings of the skin. Now we're going to be making this part. We're going to be um, painting that part. So to make that kind of blue, you cannot just use this blue because as you can see, it's much lighter. So, um, if we actually add a little bit of wet to this blue, it will make perfectly this color. So, let's try that out. So, first I'll add some blue. And then, 
and I'm wearing very little uh, red, so like just like a drop of it. That much will be fine, two drops. And then we can just mix it. As you can see, it's turning to be much more darker. Put it on, you can see it's perfect. So now we're gonna paint it. So now we're gonna be moving on to the next video, which is this part. So this should be lighter than this. So for this, I'm taking light blue and red to make that color. So what we wanna do is put a a little light blue and very little red like last time maybe two drops will be just fine so what we want to do is just mix them up really nicely we don't want them to be two separate colors, we want them to be mixed really good. And now when you're finished mixing, you, you can see that this color matches that. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we can just start painting it. It should look like this once you've um, added some layers to it. So now we're going to be moving on to the headband. So actually, first of all, we need to do all the details of the headband. So for that, we're gonna use white. So we'll just um, take a bit of white on our tray. Then I'll take my brush, add a little bit of paint and um, those dots over there you can just draw like um just put some dot just like that be careful about that one and then over here you can see there is a reflection so i'll just do white to that too so guys this like um while this is drying we'll do the hair now um, so we have to actually let this dry for at least a few hours. So actually while that is drying, when we're doing the hair. So we're going to be doing the same color as we did for this one. So that is blue and red. So first let's take blue and put it in our palette. Then we will take red and put very little, two drops or one drop will be just fine. And then we are going to be mixing it. So as you can see, it makes this color. But you can even add more red to it. A little. Mix it up. And there you have the perfect color. And now we're going to be painting it. So you can start by adding really little, little paint and then just um, go about it. Because this is a large area, you will need a lot of paint. So don't be afraid to use like a whole lot of paint for this one. And you can just start doing the first coat. And don't worry, you can go over to the thick parts of here, like the highlights we did, because it's already dried, so nothing will happen if we even go over it. 
it'll just be in the back, so don't need to worry about going like um, over it and messing it up. This is how the hair should look once you've um, applied all the paint and it's completely dried. So actually, I at least made that paint at least like seven times or so. So I really hope this um, comes out really nice. So basically now we're going to be moving on to her headband. And let me just tell you one thing. Um, actually, I forgot that... Um, when I put this glass over that, it will come um, the opposite of when we turn this around. So what I did was um, just draw this symbol upside down so it won't come upside down. So now we'll be doing that. So first I'm going to be making this um, light gray color. For that we'll be needing these three colors blue, black, and white. So let's just mix it now. First we'll take some black, put it on our palette, and then we will take blue. We will need like um, very little blue, maybe like very little, it's gonna be enough. That much might not be enough. And then finally we'll do white. You might need kind of a lot of white over here because it's light. Then we can mix it all together. If you want you can add way like um, more white. Because it should be like really light. Add more white. So the color should be turning something like this. What I did was I just added more white and a little bit more blue to make it perfectly of that color. So now what we want to do is start painting it. And don't worry, you can paint over that mark we made. Nothing will happen because it's like already dried. So we'll just start painting it. Make sure to make it. This is how it should be looking once you've added some coats on it. So now we're going to be making a darker part. So we're actually going to be mixing the same colors. These three colors. The same colors. But this time we'll not add a lot of white. But we'll add um, some of this and a um, little of this. But not a lot of white. So yeah. So actually I'm going to be making it in the same palette. Add some white. And then some blue. That should do it. I've mixed it all and now we're going to be doing it so we will just put it here as you can see it's much darker than the other one so that's perfect that's exactly what we want and again don't worry you can paint over the white stuff but be careful not to smudge these two colors because it'll look really like it won't look nice if you like to smudge them all up. As what I did was I took out the printout, like the tape and the printout, and put it on a plain sheet of paper. So this is how it should be looking. As now we're gonna be doing this part, her coat. So first I'm actually gonna be using these three colors to make that color of her coat, which is orange, 
blue and white. So now let's just mix these colors, but we gotta remember to put only little amounts of blue and orange, very little amounts, because we don't want it to be too dark. So here I'm putting only a little of blue and a little of orange, just a little. I'm gonna make sure to put the same amount. And then I'll put in white. Well, we gotta put in a lot of white because it should be light. So now we can mix it. Okay. So now you can put in more white. should be coming in something like this and then you can add more white to it. Guys, I made the color and it should be looking something like this. I added more of blue, orange and white, all of them. And this is how it should be looking. So this is actually for the darker parts, which is, um, which I've marked with the pencil over here. So yeah I'm gonna be painting it now so we'll just paint it like this this is how it should be looking once you've applied uh, many coats of it so now we're gonna be making the lighter area so actually I'm gonna be taking the same color we made for the dark card I had some left so now we're gonna be adding some white paint to it to make it lighter So I added some white paint and now I'm going to be mixing it. So if you guys want you can add more of white paint. What I did was I added some red and white paint to make it a little more pinkish. So now we're going to be um, painting it like this. So first we do the first coat. Every small detail. Make sure not to mix the two gray and um, this pinkish color because it will not look nice if you do it. So I'm taking more paint and painting it just like this. This is how it should be looking once it's completely dried. And now we're going to be moving on to the last and final step, which is the skin. This is actually the, the last step, and then after that we'll just let it dry and flip it over. So now I'll just mix the three colors we used to make this peach, which is red, yellow, and white. So we want to add very little red as before. A lot of yellow. And a lot of white. For this one we need to add more white because we want it to be nice and light. So now we can just mix it all up. As you can see, you can be getting this color. Now you can add a bit more yellow. And mix it up. As I added a little bit more white and this is how the color should be looking. So now you can just start painting it. So you can just go over everything, no problem. It's basically nothing is gonna happen. So yeah. This is how it looks once I've added the first coat. And I know it looks really funny, but I promise when we turn it around, it'll look really good. So 
now we gotta add two more coats because it has to be nice and thick like the hair. This is how it should look once you've applied some coats of peach color. Guys, now I'm gonna reveal the glass painting. Oh my god, it looks so good! So guys, this is how it looks. Guys, that's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the link below. Thank you for watching. Bye!